Welcome to the first of several videos on Polarian's test management features and capabilities. This one will give you a high-level overview that includes the level of test management support in different Polarian products, project templates that support test management and quality assurance, options for creating test specifications, and options for running tests once they've been specified. With these points in mind, then, let's get started. All these Polarian products have some test management capabilities. Licenses for all products can coexist on the same server, and in some cases you may need a mix of licenses to use some features. For example, you need an ALM or QA license in order for requirements users to browse test runs. With the necessary licenses in place, users of all these products can create test specification documents and define test case work items, link test cases to each other and to other work item types like requirements, Browse and review test runs, which record a single instance of testing activity. Execute manual tests and record results in an existing test run. And set up the Polarian build system to include running automated tests as part of a project build process. Now you would need a license for Polarian QA and or Polarian ALM in order to create new test runs, modify existing test runs or their test run templates, Use Roundtrip for Microsoft Excel to send test cases to offline testers and import their results back to Polarian, or to integrate third-party test automation tools. Polarian QA is probably the best choice for teams dedicated to testing and quality assurance. If you're not sure which product or product mix would best meet your needs, Polarian sales engineers have a lot of experience helping people figure out exactly that. An email to sales at polarian.com will get you started. Once your Polarian system is up and running, you'll want to start creating some test management projects. If you don't know how to create new projects yet, be sure to check out our video tutorial on that. When creating a test management project, you'll need to choose a project template, so let's talk briefly about those. Project templates provide default system configurations and content designed to support different kinds of projects. Different products come with different templates. For example, Polarian ALM comes with templates for several common project types, while Polarian QA comes with project templates designed for test management projects. A project with test management support includes a pre-configured work item type for test cases and a predefined workflow for them. Everything is of course customizable, but our goal in designing project templates is to make it quick and easy for you to create projects with defaults that make sense and which you can start working on right away. Testing projects also include a space named Testing, which has some default content, including a placeholder test specification document that you can use to define your test cases. Polarian QA and Polarian ALM have a project template that also provides special work item types, workflow, and content to support FMEA risk management activities. Let's look briefly now at the major test management capabilities of Polarian. Polarian enables you to take test specs off the desktop and bring them online. Most Polarian customers use a document-centric approach with Polarian LiveDoc documents. We have a series of tutorial videos on LiveDocs, so run through those if you would want to have a document-based approach to test specifications. If you have existing specs in Word or Excel, be sure to learn how you import existing artifacts like requirements or test cases from these Office formats. Our LiveDoc technology has received so much attention that it's easy to miss the fact that Polarian also supports people who prefer a tool-centric approach. You can use the fully integrated tracker tool in any project to create test case work items. You can optionally import existing test cases authored in Excel directly into the tracker. Both approaches enable you to create granular test case work items and manage them with workflow, as well as author content like test steps, and link test cases to requirements or whatever else you may need to link to for traceability. Once you have test specifications in place, you'll need to actually perform testing and record the results. So let's look briefly at how Polarian supports that. Polarian provides a special business object called a test run. Look for these in the test runs topic in navigation when working in a project. A test run is basically a record of a single instance of some testing activity, manually performing test steps specified uh, in some set of test cases, or the execution of some automated test or set of tests, as part of a nightly build, for example. A test run encompasses some set of test cases. 
For example, it might be a smoke test that involves testing only a subset of all your test cases, or it might be a full test that runs them all. Test runs are important because they enable you to easily document your testing activity, testing coverage, and testing results. This can be really vital in industries subject to regulatory rules and standards and subject to periodic audits. Test runs provide a basis for the ability to query and report on your testing activity and results. Let's wrap up this overview then with a quick look at your options for running the tests defined in your test specifications. You have three options for performing or executing tests. Executing test cases manually in Polarian, executing test cases externally and importing the testing results, or executing automated tests. Regardless of the method of testing, a new test run is always created to log the activity and its results. The results are immediately visible to the project team. Your testers start with a test run created by a Polarian QA or Polarian ALM user. They launch the test run, perform the test steps in the test cases, and record the end results as passed or failed. Look for a video on manual testing for more detail on this. If you use external testers, you can start with a new test run and then export its test cases to Excel, sending the file to your testers. They do whatever it is they do with whatever tools they use. They log the results in Excel and send the file back to you. You then import the results into the test run and mark the end result, passed or failed. Again, look for a video with more detail on this. There are two ways to use Polarian with automated testing. You can develop unit tests and have them executed as part of the project build. Or you can set up Polarian to automatically import an X-Unit test results file created by a third-party testing tool. Both of these methods are covered in the documentation chapter on test management. We hope you now have a basic idea of the possibilities for test management in Polarian and the different products. Depending on when you view this video, the other test management tutorial videos may or may not be online. If not, rest assured, they're coming soon. Look into the Help chapter on test management in the meantime. As always, you can address comments or questions to us at info at